What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with another Cleveland Browns video for you guys. And I have an update on the Browns' search for a new offensive coordinator. And it's pretty clear that the Browns are looking far and wide for their new OC. As we have two new names to add to the OC interview list. The first name, I already know you guys are going to absolutely say hell no to. The second one, be pretty intriguing. So, uh, with that being said, let's get into this. Before I do, though, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that damn bell. As, uh, the offseason's officially in full swing. And the Browns are trying to fill the remaining holes on their coaching staff. Of course, they're looking for an OC. As well as a QB coach. Could that be the same guy? Could they be looking for two different people to fill those two spots? We'll see. But anyways, the first name I'm going to talk about. Brian Johnson. Mm -hmm. As earlier this morning, Mary Kay Cabot broke the news on Twitter. And I quote, breaking Former Eagles OC Brian Johnson scheduled to interview today for the Browns OC vacancy. And right away, all I'm going to say is no. That's all I'm going to say. No. Now, you look at Johnson's background, his resume. Of course, he did play football at Utah from 2004 to 2008. And then he played for something called the New York Sentinels for one season. Okay, And then he became a coach in 2010 with Utah for two seasons as their QB coach. And then he became their OC and QB coach for another two seasons. And then he went to Mississippi State to be their quarterback's coach. Then he went to Houston to be their OC and QB coach. Then he went to Florida to be their QB coach. And then he became their offensive coordinator and quarterback's coach in 2020. And then, of course, he made the transition to the NFL with the Philadelphia Eagles, starting off as their quarterback's coach in 2021 to 2022. And then, of course, this past season, he was their offensive coordinator. And we saw how their offense was, especially at the end of the season. It became very unserious. And I swear to God, if we fired AVP only to bring in Brian Johnson, man. And here I thought... This one office was actually serious, right? They hired Brian Staley, which was a massive W in my book. If they followed that up with hiring Brian Johnson, I mean, I'll give him a chance, but uh, yeah, not, not great. Now, the other name I'm going to be talking about is a guy that, like I said, is pretty intriguing. As just a little while ago, Tom Pelissero tweeted out, and I quote, the Browns requested an interview with Kellen Moore for their offensive coordinator job, and the Chargers are expected to let him speak to other teams per sources. With Jim Harbaugh officially signing on in L.A., Moore now becomes a hot OC candidate. In fact, right after I uh, saw this tweet, I saw Tom quote tweeted his own tweet by saying, the Eagles are also going to be talking to Kellen Moore. So we're going to have competition. Now, you look at Kellen Moore's background. Obviously, he hasn't been a coach for too long, starting in 2018 with the Cowboys as their QB coach. Then he became their OC, and honestly, their offense wasn't too bad. And then, of course, he went to the Chargers to be their offensive coordinator, and their offense was all right. Of course, people are going to blame him for their shortcomings in L.A. when you know, there were issues, of course. <laughs> but yeah, as a player... He played for the Lions and the Cowboys, so he knows what it takes to do business in the NFL, at least. And the one thing about Kellen Moore is, if you want to bring him in, you're probably going to have to give up play calling if you're Kevin. Would he be able to stomach that? I'm sure he would be able to. I'm sure he'd be willing to make the sacrifice to get a guy like Kellen Moore. Because the Chargers offense was pretty good at times. Now imagine Kellen Moore running an offense with Deshaun Watson at quarterback. And then you have Nick Chubb, who of course is coming off an injury. You have Amari Cooper, you have David Njoku, and whatever other weapons we bring in through free agency in the draft. Like honestly, this is a solid squad. And you get the right play caller, 
this offense can take off. I mean, to be fair, our offense didn't really take off this past season until Flacco showed up, ironically, when he started throwing 300 yards per game. But up until then, our offense was kind of meh. You know, we were waiting for the offense to really take off, and it just never really got going. Unfortunately, that's because Deshaun Watson got hurt, and we had to rely on DTR, PJ Walker, and other guys. Yeah, but... Honestly, I would definitely like to see Kellen Moore come in as the OC, but like I said, there's going to be competition, so we'll see what happens there. And, um, yeah, it's getting pretty interesting in the uh, search for an offensive coordinator. And, of course, we're also looking for a QB coach, too. So we'll see what they decide to do. I'm sure there will be more names. I mean, I like how they're searching far and wide. They're not just limiting their search to, like, a couple people. They're going to take their time with this. So let me know what you guys think of the two new names, Brian Johnson of the Eagles and Kellen Moore of the Chargers. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. And I might have another video out later today talking about the Cavs as we are now officially two weeks away from the NBA trade deadline. There hasn't been a lot of talk regarding the Cavs possibly looking at trades. But, I mean, they've been linked to players, but... I haven't heard anything lately, so see if that changes. But yeah, with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Browns, and let's uh, let's get ourselves a good OC, huh? All right, I'm out. Bye bye. Yeah.